welcome. Today we are looking at every Marvel comic released with a cover date of either November or December 1962. This was officially the first anniversary of Marvel getting back into the superhero business during the Silver Age. We're going to look at nine comics that came out. November 1962 was the first month of the Silver Age that Marvel put out five superhero related titles in a single month starting off with fantastic four number eight issue number eight features the puppet master's first appearance as also blind sculptress alicia masters who becomes the love interest of the thing jack kirby cover art print run estimated 125,000 copies this book has been slowly, continually climbing on the CGC census. Now 756 copies. Very hard to find in top grade. There's only one 9.6 or better copy graded in the world. Heritage is sneaking up there at 245 copies. There's the classic cover. 12 cents featuring the Puppet Master. Looking at the Overstreet Annual Price Guide year by year, you can see in low grade, the book has about double. And in high grade, it's really been moving. It's now gone up about six times where it was 20 years ago. And these are just the raw annual prices for the Overstreet Guide. If you want to see what these books are doing right now, go to eBay, check out sold recent sales. Also look at the GP analysis, see how graded copies have been selling. And also looking at the CGC census overall, there's one 9.6 and seven 9.4s. There's also a few of the UK price variants that hit the market. The highest grade on the census is an 8.5. Another book that was released for November 1962 is Incredible Hulk number four. And this is the fourth appearance, of course, of the Hulk, brought to you by Stanley and Jack Kirby. It's got a brief retelling of the Hulk's origin and an appearance by Rick Jones. On the CGC census, you can see there's almost a thousand copies graded for 9.6 or better. Here's the really nice cover of different shades of green in the background. And you can identify comics of this time period from Marvel because the 12 cents is in a white circle. On the Overstreet Annual Price Guide, you can see the book has gone up about two and a half times in low grade, but again, higher grades are moving a lot faster. It's now gone up about four and a half times. And on the census, there is no 9.8s. There are four 9.6s and 9.4s, 11 copies of the UK price variant graded. Also released this month, Journey into Mystery, number 86. This is still a major key book. It's the fourth appearance ever of Thor and the second appearance of Odin. In fact, his first full appearance. This issue features a Jack Kirby cover. Print run estimated at 132,000 copies. Not many copies graded on CGC, as this is not a, a, a major first appearance book. So there's only 538 copies graded in total. Uh, no new 9.6s have come on the market for quite a long time. Nice uh, darkish green background on this cover. Uh, Overstreet Price Guide. The book has tripled in low grade and in high grade. It's really taken off. It's gone up about eight times. And on the census, there are three 9.8s and five 9.6s. Only three of the UK price variants. No high grade ones at all. The average being a 4.6. Also released this month, written by Stanley, we have Strange Tales 102. This is sort of an important issue. It is the second solo storybook for the Human Torch. And that means for two months in a row now, the Human Torch is featured in two different titles. He was the only Marvel superhero at that time to have that happening. This is the first appearance of The Wizard. There's a robot story and features a Jack Kirby cover. Print run estimated at 136 thousand copies, making this one of Marvel's best-selling titles at this time. 12 cent cover, red background. Very few copies graded on this. Only 254 in all conditions. In Overstreet, not much movement at all in low grades. It hasn't even doubled in 20 years. In higher grades, though, it's a little different. It's gone up four times. 
On the census, we have one 9.8 and one 9.6. No UK price variance graded by CDC. And the fifth book released this month in the superhero genre was Tales to Astonish 37. And this is now a monthly ongoing series featuring Ant-Man in every issue. This is the fourth appearance of Ant-Man and also features a Jack Kirby cover. Very few copies graded by CDC, seeing that it's only a fourth appearance. 221 copies graded in total. And on the census, it has not doubled in 20 years in low grade, but again, in high grade, it's done a bit better. It's gone up about four times for raw copies. And on the census, there are two 9.8s and three 9.6s, only two copies of the UK price edition uh, uh, graded, and the average is a five. So that is the five superhero titles released for Marvel with a cover date of November 1962. Of course, they were still releasing teen and romance titles as well as Westerns at this time. But we're just focusing on the superhero books this month. So for December, Marvel released another four. So we're going to take a look at those and see what makes these books special and why you should be collecting these certain ones. First up is Fantastic Four, number nine. This is now a monthly series. It had been bi-monthly when it first started. And the Fantastic Four are evicted from their headquarters. And the Submariner appears in this issue. And uh, there's cameo stars for movie stars. Jack Kirby drew Bob Hope, Bing Crosby, Alfred Hitchcock, Jackie Gleason, Dean Martin, James Arness. A lot more copies on the CDC census as all Fantastic Four is highly collected. Almost 800 copies already. In the Overstreet Annual Price Guide, you can see the book has gone about double in the last 20 years in low grade. High grade, again, moving quite well. It's gone up about six times in raw price. The CGC census has one 9.8 and six 9.8. 9.6s, and there are seven of the UK price variants graded with the average being a 5.5. There are no high grade copies at all. Also, out this month is Journey into Mystery 87. And this would be the fifth appearance of Thor with Steve Ditko interior art. Only 287 copies graded because this is not a major first appearance book. Solid red background cover, <coughs> looking pretty nice. In the Overstreet Price Guide, the book has tripled in low grade and it's gone up nine times raw in high grade. And on the census, there's one 9.8 and two 9.6s. There's only two copies graded in total of the UK Pence edition and the average being a 4.7 grade. Also out this month, Strange Tales 103, which again features solo stories of the Human Torch, which means this is his third month in a row of being featured in two different titles. He was the only superhero that Stanley was really pumping out month by month. Uh, and Fantastic Four would appear in many of these solo stories. Jack Kirby and Dick Ayers cover an art, backup story from Steve Ditko, and only 149 copies graded on the census in all conditions combined. That's very few. Nice cover. In low grade in Overstreet Annual Price Guide, it's almost doubled in the last 20 years. High grade, it has gone up four times. On the CGC census, there are no 9.8s, but there is a 9.6 and four 9.4s. The highest of the UK price variant is a 7.5. And finally, the last book of the year is Tales to Astonish 38. And this one, again, is Ant-Man's monthly series. So this features the fifth appearance of Ant-Man and the first appearance of Egghead. Features a Jack Kirby cover. Kirby was sure busy at this time drawing nonstop covers. And again, not many copies on the census, only 228 in all conditions. There are seven 9.6s or better. Kind of a pinkish background on this one, featuring Egghead on the cover. In the Overstreet Price Guide, we can see the book has not quite doubled in low grade, but it has gone up about four times in high grade raw. And on the census, we have one 9.8 and six 9.6s. There's only one of the UK Price Edition variants graded 
it is a 6.5. So there you go. That is the nine uh, comics released at the end of 1962 for Marvel. Let's just do a quick study of the uh, CGC census and see what notes we kind of notice on here of interest. So you'll notice that the book with the most copies graded is actually Incredible Hulk. Number four, 988 copies graded, but the average is only a 4.8. There are no 9.8. So notice that there are a number of books on here that don't have a 9.8 at all. The most common with 9.8 is Journey into Mystery 86. There are three 9.8s. But Strange Tales 103, Fantastic Four 8, and The Incredible Hulk 4 and 5 do not have any. What else can we notice on the census? The book with the least copies graded is Strange Tales 103. Only 149 copies at all graded in any condition. But that brings its average up. So interestingly, the book that has the most copies graded has the lowest average grade. And therefore, the book with the lowest number of copies graded in total uh, has the highest average grade. So that's something to keep in mind. <coughs> Um, the lowest, yeah, is Hulk number, well, actually four and five are really low, right? Less than a five is the average grade. Notice that all of these books, uh, Near Mints and Very Fines are, there's just not many of them at all. So there you go. We're learning a bit more of Marvel history, seeing what Stanley's creating month by month. It's quite fascinating to watch. Of course, watch my series. We're doing this every week. We're going through the entire history of the early Marvel Silver Age superhero books. Thanks for watching. Check out more of my reports at terryhawkness.com. I have lots of other great historical and investing videos posted. And learn more about comic books and collecting at cbsi at comicbookinvest.com. Thanks for watching.